<clears throat> hey guys, it's Gary. Um, after my last video with the on the Garmin Phoenix 5 watch, um, I got a couple text messages. I got a actual comment in below about what the heck is a waypoint. Well, I'm here to explain it for you, and it's going to start right now. So we're going to just turn the camera around. Guys. So we got a waypoint. So let's say this is Main Street and then first at A Street and B Street. So basically a waypoint equals an address. So if we want to know what the, this business right here is, what the address is, the city and all its wisdom and stuff has came up with an address of 123 Main Street. So it's going to be 123 Main, your town, USA. Okay, so there is no other place in the world that will have this address, 123 Main Street, your town, USA. There's no other place in the world that will have that address. So that is a waypoint. We need waypoints so our GPS unit can find it. You plug in the, the waypoint address and it will find 123 Main Street. Pretty simple, Google Maps does it all. But let's say now, so finding businesses, houses, stuff like that, it's really easy because it's, it's already been done for you. But now we're out in the woods and we want to know We want the location of our camp right here. X marks the spot. We want the address of our camp. So when we park our car, so when we park our car, we want to be able to hike on the trail and get to our base camp or our camp. All right. So, and there's no there's no predetermined 123 Main Street, nothing like that. So basically how it works is we have the Earth, we have the equator. Equator is zero degrees. And I'm just going to do South America, kind of like that. United States, Florida, Canada. Okay, this is all Mexico. And how it's determined, how we get our like cross intersection stuff, we have the things that are called degrees. So just like this, millions, of, not millions, but hundreds of these. And up here, like in Oregon, it's 42 degrees north. And we would have the same thing. We'd have 42 degrees south. Okay. So our tree is right here. And we just got to figure out how to get there. Okay, so with this, when using the maps and everything and databases and, and Google Earth and whatever, we can come up with the address and it's going to give us it in this kind of format. And then over here on the, if you rotate this over by Spain, wow. Europe, we have our latitude, longitude line and it's at zero degrees. And then a bunch of these going this way. And like I said, about in Oregon is about 121 west. And going this way would be, you'd have, you know, a whole bunch of them, 121 east. So our address for like our tree would be 42 degrees north of the equator. And we're going to have a number like 25.123. And then the other part of the address would be 121 West. 
at let's go 42.123. So our tree that was on the mountain, our tree that was here, that is the address for that tree. There will be no other place in the world that will have this address. So that's how we can find that specific tree. What we did the other day, we were, we were, let's say we were standing at the tree. We punched and held our button on our watch. It gave us this address. That is our address for the tree. No other place in the world will have that address. So that is a waypoint. Waypoint is just a fancy GPS word for address. To any location on the earth. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. I'll get back to you. As always, if you can, give us a thumbs up. Um, subscribe. Watch for the next video. And hope you have a great night.